Good afternoon everybody. In today's tutorial we're going to be making a simple quarter twenty hex nut. We're going to start by opening up a new part file, again making sure that the units are set to inch pound second, and we're going to open up a new sketch on the top plane, and go normal two, and we're going to use our polygon tool here to create our basic hex nut shape. So our hex nut will have six sides, so we'll keep that setting as is. And for our center point, we'll pick the origin and extend it out. Now to set the size of our hex nut, we're going to go to Smart Dimension and select this construction circle here. And we want to set this diameter to be 7 sixteenths. So we can just enter in the actual fraction here. 7 forward slash 16. And hit enter. Now our sketch is still not fully defined. As you see here we can still rotate the uh, polygon around its origin. What we're going to do is select this vertical line here and create a vertical relation. So now the sketch is fully defined. You know this because all of the lines have gone from blue to black and it says fully defined down here. Okay, so now we will exit our sketch and do an extruded boss base. And we're going to set our direction to be mid-plane. I like to do this because it keeps the three primary planes for your part centered. And we're going to set the distance here to 730 seconds. So 730 seconds or 0.21875 and hit OK. So now we have our basic shape. We want to create our threaded center hole. So we'll select this top face and go up to Hole Wizard. And we're just going to do a cosmetic thread on here. So we'll select the straight tap option and SI inch and we'll set our size to be 1 quarter 20 and for our position we're just going to select the origin and hit OK. This creates our tapped hole. This line here is to simulate the uh, threading. Let's add some chamfers to this hole. So we'll go to chamfer and we'll set the distance to be 0 0.015 inches and keep the angle at 45 degrees and just select both edges here. You could also select the cylindrical surface here and it would automatically select both edges and hit OK. Now the last thing we're going to do is round off our corners. So to do this we're going to open up a new sketch on the front plane and we'll actually open the sketch and we're going to create a small right triangle here making sure that this endpoint is coincident to the corner of the part and we're going to set our angle to be 15 degrees and our top distance here to be 0 0.05 inches 
Okay, and we're also going to create a center line because what we're going to do here is a basic revolved cut. So we'll create our center line, and to close out the line tool, you simply have to double click, like so. It's a neat little shortcut in SolidWorks. And we'll close out our sketch and create a new revolved cut. So now this will cut the chamfer into our part, like so. All right, and we need that on both sides. So what we're going to do here is do a mirror about the top plane, which runs through the center of the part. This is why it's good to keep your three primary planes centered about the part. And we'll go up here to where it says Linear Pattern and go to Mirror. You could also select Mirror there. And for our features to mirror, we'll expand out our feature tree and select the Cut Revolve 1 here. And you see it's projected onto the other side of our part. So we'll hit OK. All right. Now the last thing we have to do here is add our material. To do this, we're going to right click on our material here on the feature tree and go to Edit Material. And we'll simply keep it as AISI 304 stainless and hit Apply. And close. And this concludes our quick tutorial on making a hex nut in SolidWorks. I hope you've enjoyed the tutorial. If you did, be sure to hit the like button and check out some of the other great tutorials on the channel. Thank you and have a great day.